All right, welcome back. This is Blitzstorm, and I was actually looking at some concrete uh, barriers for the road. I uh, don't have any on my computer. I lost the models that I actually had, but uh, something like this. Uh, they're pretty easy to do, so I guess I'll uh, jump in and do that for today. to create the uh, front end for this so we're going to uh, go ahead and clone it make it a copy go ahead and move it just uh, right right about here so what we're going to do is we're then going to well it's already an edible poly We'll just uh, go ahead and move all of these into about three. Where should I go for? Let's go four. Because it's eight, so we want about half. About half. So, uh, so let's go. Nah. Yeah, boy. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have to bring this down to kind of give it the lip. I actually might want it down a bit more. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try something here. I'm just going to grab both of these actually and move it down. Here, maybe. Do I want to just keep it like that or uh, clone? Move. It looks a bit too plain, doesn't it? It's missing something. So I guess so. Uh, yeah, let's add the grooves in the bottom. So how to do that is you could have either remake it and just add more polys, or you can simply just uh, create a couple boxes like so. Actually, we could probably just do one box. Yeah, let's do one box. So where do we want the, uh, so just uh, one segment, actually, let's do uh, two, three segments, wrong way, one, three segments on this one. And 
let's go ahead and move this up to how, how far up do you want the lines to be is the question. So about right here, I think. Let's go ahead and convert this to an Evo Poly. It's, uh, where do I want the lines at? So about one in. And let's make the lines about... One square. Oh, this needs to be moved out of it a little bit more. So how it, it'll, it's all preference. Um, how big you want the lines? Actually, what I'm going to do is, oops, is it? I'm going to move. I'm actually going to move everything down. So the whole thing. Um, should I go a bit more? You can always uh. Here, this this looks about what the forks would be like. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, select these faces here. I'm going to bevel, uh, exclude, sorry, extrude. Up, and I'm just going to make sure. What you want to do is you just want to make sure it's all into the block now. So here's where the grooves will be in and out, and if you don't want it like that you can always move them and adjust them to your preference so that's what the group where the grooves will be and that's uh that's a bit too much i think for my liking about right here maybe right here Nah, needs to be up a bit more. About right. So okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the main one, being this. You're gonna go to your little uh, out here to your uh, create, and you're actually going to go to uh, not standard, but you're going to go to uh, compound objects. You're gonna go to boolean. You're gonna make sure subtract a to b. This is a. This is b. So it's going to subtract uh, a and b. Now, if you're going to subtract the other way and make grooves where this is, then you'd select the opposite. So uh, we're going to pick what the B object is, and that's this one. And voila, it is minus. And you now have oops, the grooves. And it did add a couple more polys, but uh, it actually looks a lot better. You can actually do that to this too uh, if you want. You can just uh, put one groove in it or whatever. All right, and then uh, yeah. So when you put this in game, this put them in each separate, and all you do is you just move them to each other, uh, or you can uh, do it in your 3D. Uh, normally, if you're doing like a big city like I am, you want to do everything in 3D Studio Max. Well, not everything, almost everything. This, that way, you can just import the whole city at once if the data gets lost or something you still have the whole model you don't need to redo the whole game map you just drag and drop it back in and it's good to go uh, same if you're doing posters and stuff you can put those in or you can do them in the game engine itself all right so I uh, threw the little cement barricades in the game here now this isn't really the location that I would put it I was going to use them for like the outskirts a bit or the more uh, deserted area, whatever you want to call it. So here it is in game. I did attach a box collider so I can't uh, run but I can uh, jump over them. That's how easy it is to make a uh, little barricades. Uh, you can change the texture, have different textures if you want. Uh, if you want to do it more uh, crumpled and stuff, you do that with the textures. Give it like a chipped, chipped concrete type look. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, 
you could make it more high poly if you want but then it's going to take more uh, loading so like if you're going to smooth out areas like this but uh yeah i like it it's all squared it's all good so uh yeah that's the concretes how to uh, do it pretty simple uh, you could do another piece for here that just goes to the ground if you wanted to but if you've seen a couple of the road there's been spots that i've seen that just have this uh, the wheels can go on it uh, but uh yeah let's uh probably do some more art type stuff for around the city and i'll see you next time thanks for watching like subscribe comment if you uh, have any questions feel free to ask and i'll get back to you as soon as i can